Hi, my name's Nick Sims with Specialized Bicycles. I'm here today to show you two sneak, sneak peeks at uh, 2010 products that we're launching. We have the first one here is the new Epic 29er. This one is actually Ned Overens. He's going to race it this weekend at Sea Otter. Uh, so this is Ned's, Ned's spec for the weekend. But the key things for these bikes is we've worked recently with the guys at RockShock to produce a co-branded fork. So we have a, our carbon crown and tapered steerer that uh, you may be aware of that we have on the Epics and Stump Jumpers. We're made it with a Reba lower. It also runs the Reba internals as well. So in testing right now, it's proving to be the lightest and stiffest 29er fork out on the market. So that's some key tapered, tapered steerer, inch and a half to inch and an eighth. Again, so it gives you save weight, but also you've increased front end stiffness. And then the tried and true suspension technology that we've had uh, on Epics. The, the brain shock on everything, very lightweight. This is really an out and out 29 race bike. Uh, spec wise, there'll be a marathon version, which is our high end, should have the new SRAM double X components on it. And then there'll be various, I think three versions after that with a spec that's still being decided as we speak, but should be available in stores in October. So that is the 2010 29 Epic. And then moving on, for the carbon fans out there, we have the 29er carbon hardtail. This should come in at around 20 and a half pounds. Again, you're still running the fork, co-branded fork, the Reba, with the specialized crown steerer. So very light, very stiff. We also have a Reval wheel that we'll be launching. It'll have the oversized caps that are similar, similarly found on stump jumpers and stuff, aids in lateral stiffness of the fork. So we have that and then uh, carbon crank, which you've seen on Epics. So again, very lightweight, very stiff. And then as with all these bikes, you know, you, you want to put the power down. So it's a very large oversized down tube, large bottom bracket area, big chain stays. So a lot of lateral stiffness. We also have probably the shortest wheelbase for a 29er and that's achieved by actually curving the seat tube so you can really tuck the wheel in. Um, so that's a very compliant ride. We took a little bit of material out of the seat stays. This will be available as a frame and fork and as several different versions um, depending on spec. The lower ends won't use the crank. They'll have a different fork with an adapter in it. And for the single speed fans out there, we're going to do a limited number of single speed carbon frame and forks. So we'll have three new 29ers for 2010. So you got the sneak peek first here. <laughs>